Okay, so now I have all of my cycle times and soak times in for five minutes for my cycle times through greens one through nine and my soak times in for 60. So if you look, five minutes for each one. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to exit out of this, go to program, and because we need it to run for 20 minutes, we need to increase our water budget to 200% because 20 minutes is double 10 minutes and 200 is double 100. 100. So I'm going to exit out of there and I'm going to try a dry run again. So as you can see, I had four cycles of five minutes each for each sprinkler. So if I go to dry run log times, all of my sprinklers for the front nine greens have ran for 20 minutes. So in this problem, we also need to run the back nine greens for 20 minutes. So to do that, we're going to have to build another program. So you go to program details, quick ear method, let's name this back nine greens, Same thing, 10 p.m. start, and then I'm just going to click back, click all greens again, and click OK. So let's dry run it again and make sure that it's all working. Oh, I forgot, because we need it to run for 20 minutes, and our default time is 10 minutes, we need to increase this to 200% as well. Let's dry run it. And there you go. So G1 and G2 on 11, 13, 15, 17, 18 only ran for 15 minutes, but I'll get into that later. That's actually our next troubleshoot question, which we should now go to. So Holes 11, 13, 15, 17, and 18 have shady areas on each of the greens and need less water than the sunny parts of the green. Alter your database, not the program area, to set up for two heads all on the above greens to water for only 75% of the run times. Okay, so this is a pretty easy fix. What we need to do is we need to go to our station details, click on it, Work, we're working with green, so I like to click on the greens button. And then we need to go to station for hole 11, which is the first hole that we need to fix. So we need to adjust two of the heads so that they only run for 75% of the time. So you need to go to this column right here, which is station adjust percentage over days. You can click on that, and then you can see you get a drop down menu. You click that little down arrow, this pops up. So the base station adjustment percentage is 75%. I've already put that in. So basically what this is saying is if you want to permanently adjust it to 75% of the default runtime, it will. Um, and the temp station adjustment percentage is if you only want to adjust it for a certain amount of time. So for example, if we only want to have it at 75% for three days, you can also do that. So then this column will come up as 75 over 3. But because we want it to be 75% because it's an ongoing problem, we can adjust it and click OK. And then you have to do the same for all the other problem areas, which is hole 13, which I've already done, G1 and G2, 15, G1 and G2, 17, 18 as well. So we can go through that again. I can show you the dry run and show you that it is 75% of the overall run time, which is 20 minutes, which is 15 minutes of on 11, 13, 15, and 17, and 18. So there's that problem solved. So then the next problem we have is 
The first, fifth, seventh, and ninth green are all higher than the rest and are exposed to wind with no shade. The backs of these greens all dry out and need water every night, but only the front need, water, need watering every second night. Build a program, call it hot greens, that will only water those heads when you build a greens program for the front nine. Okay, so this involves a couple of steps that we have to do. Now the first step we actually have to do is go to system settings, default data settings, and then we're going to actually build a sub irrigation class. So to do this, we gotta click on this button right here, the A, B, C, D, and E. Then we gotta click greens. So I've already built one, but I can show you again. We'll call this one hot spots test. So now in our station details, which is up here, we can adjust these classes. Um, so we put in a name. We gotta put in a default runtime, which we'll leave at 10 minutes. And then these are the cycle times and the soak times, which we don't need to adjust for this one. Okay, so I will click, or sorry, now we have to import the data. So all areas, all areas, all data. And click OK. So now what we have to do is we have to go into station details. Again, we're working with greens. And we have to select the back two stations on each one of these holes. So G, we're going to say G3 and G4 are the on the back of the greens in each of these on each of these holes. So would you like to import default data to this uh, for this sub area? Click yes. And again, you got to do that for G4. Click yes. Now, we got to go through to hole 5 and adjust it because the back two area back two stations on this uh hole need to run as well. So click yes again. Go to hole 7. Yes. Eight. Nope, we don't need to adjust that one. Nine we do. Nine. Okay, so now that we have all these sub irrigation classes set up and the stations we want in that class, we can exit out of this station of out of the station detail area. And now we can build a program to run these stations. So we go to program, we'll click the Q again, and we'll click and call it hot greens. We want to run every day starting at 10 p.m. course one, and we only need the front nine greens because that's all the areas that this problem persi is persistent on. So now this is where the area and sequences are important. We named that sub where we put those stations in subclass D. So we need to click this box right here because it's greens and subclass D. Whereas if we put it in sub or subclass B, we would click this box. But because we put it in subclass D, we'll click this one. Then we'll click OK. So let's turn these off and make sure that it's working. We'll get out of here. We'll go dry run. Press play. Okay. So you can see that it ran on hole 1, 5, 7, 9. However, it did not run in cycles in the cycles and that is just a glitch that's been happening with my computer or with my program. So now what you have to do is you have to go back and put in all these cycle times again. Which I'm not going to put you through. I'm just going to show you on this hole again. Okay. 
Okay, so now hole one has the cycle time and the soak time. So if we get out of here and we do a dry run again, it should pop up that hole run, hole one will run for five minute cycles, which it looks like it did. So there we go. Okay, but because the problem says that this program needs to run every night, and we already have our front nine greens program, we need to adjust it so that these don't these don't run on the same night. So our front nine green will will water that spot, but our hot or will water those spots automatically, which our hot spot greens will hit. So we need to adjust the days. So you, if you click this down arrow here, you can choose what day of the week you want it on, or you can skip days. So we're going to skip days. So the skip days is the number of days between <coughs> in the number of days between when the station will or when the program will run. And the days to go is to when you want that program to start. So for example, if we put in one skip day and no days to go, it will run tonight, but then not tomorrow night, but then it will run the night after tomorrow. So we'll click OK. But because we don't want this program and this program to run on the same night, we need to adjust this or these days. So again, we'll go to skip days, and we only want, we want to run every other night, but we want it to start tomorrow. So we'll say days to go one. And again, because we want 20 minute run times, we'll have to adjust this one to 200%. So now, um, so now, this hot green should run tonight, while this front nine green will run tomorrow night. But this front nine green will also hit this hot spot. So I hope this video has shown you how to input a program into the Rainbird Cirrus uh, irrigation program, as well as shown you some ways that you can build programs to fix some problems that you have on your golf course. Thank you for watching, and I will also add the links to our previous videos underneath this one. Thanks again.